What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Today, we're talking Udemy courses. And the topic is 10 Udemy courses that every developer should own. And actually, it's gonna be 10 types of Udemy courses, but I'm gonna give examples for each. So 10 Udemy courses every developer should own. Now, I owe so much of my success, career success, to Udemy. Some people say Udemy is like low quality and anybody can teach there. I think the opposite. I think some of the best teachers in the world are on Udemy and there is just so much talent to be learned there for really cheap. So there's two things I wanna say before we start. One, Udemy is a great platform. And as I share these courses today, most of them I own myself. I think I own close to 100 courses. And like I said, I owe so much success to all of these courses. And number two is you should never pay more than like 14, 15 bucks for a Udemy course. If ever you log on, it's like 130 bucks for a course then I'm gonna put a link below to an article that I wrote of how to always find the best price on Udemy. So you should never pay more than like 15 bucks. And with all that out the way, let me share with you these 10 types of Udemy courses that all of you guys, all of you developers should own. Links to all of these will be below in the description. If you like content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, number one, all developers should own a JavaScript course. Almost every developer that I've known or worked with in my career knows how to use JavaScript. They may be doing something that's totally not JavaScript related, but every once in a while they get pulled into something and they need to make some tweaks and they know where to jump in because JavaScript is so universal. And no matter if you're using React or Node.js or you're just doing basic web development, manipulating the DOM, you should know JavaScript and you should have a JavaScript course in your tool belt. Well, there's one on Udemy by Jonas Schmetman called The Complete JavaScript Course 2023 from Zero to Expert. This is all you need. Grab this course and whenever you're doing JavaScript and you need to look something up, it's all in here. This is my number one recommended JavaScript course on Udemy. So number one, all developers should own a JavaScript course. Number two, all developers should own a cloud certification course. It seems like every job out there nowadays requires knowledge of at least one of the major cloud platforms, AWS, Azure, or GCP. You don't have to get certified. That's not what I'm getting at, but you need to become familiar with at least one of them. So on Udemy, you should pick up one of these cloud certification courses. Here's what I recommend. And I'm Azure and AWS certified, and have taken these courses myself. Google Cloud, I don't know much about, but the other two, take my advice. And for AWS, look no further than this guy here, the Stefan Marek, or Marek, I don't know how you pronounce it. But he kind of rules the AWS space on Udemy, and he's an excellent teacher. I passed my Certified Solution Architect exam using this course. So if you're just getting started out in cloud, you can do the Certified Cloud Practitioner course, which is kind of an intro to cloud computing and AWS services. So like I said, you don't have to take the certification, but this will get you really familiar with AWS. And if you do wanna get certified, this is the kind of base level you can get certified at. Now, if you wanna go a step further and check out the Certified Solutions Architect Associate, then this is the course too. He teaches that as well. And this is, like I said, the course that I took that allowed me to pass the AWS certification. So that's AWS. For Azure, there's a guy called Scott Duffy. He's the expert on Udemy and you wanna trust him. So here's the AZ900, which is again, the kind of intro to cloud computing and Microsoft services on Azure. So you can do that. If you wanna take it a step further, here is the AZ104 by Scott Duffy. And this is the course that I took to pass the Azure certification. So I can vouch for both of these guys. As far as Google, I looked on Udemy and I found the highest rated course. And it looks like this guy here is kind of your top Udemy instructor. I mean, 14,700 ratings. I would go with this one. This is the GCP Associate Cloud Engineer. So the second course on Udemy that all developers should own is a cloud certification course, whether it be AWS, Azure, or Google. Okay, so the number three course that all developers should own is a 100 Days of X course. Now this reminds me of kind of the packed publishing cookbooks. It's like a course that actually takes you through like 30 or 40 projects in a language or a framework or something like that. And what that does is that not only teaches you the language, like you've learned the language, but you need practice. So these courses give you lots of small and intermediate projects to build out. And my top course in this category is of course, 100 Days of Code, the Complete Python Pro Bootcamp for 2023 by Angela Yu. Actually, this course was my 2022 course of the year on Udemy, one that I took and loved. 
So on this one, you can master Python by building 100 projects in 100 days. Learn data science, automation, build websites, games, and apps. This course taught me a lot about Python I didn't even know you could do. So this course starts out in the beginner projects. So you have Hangman, you have Blackjack, and then it goes to intermediate where you're working with CSV data, building a password manager, APIs, and then on into advanced topics and professional portfolio projects. So there's 100 projects, 100 Python projects in 100 days. And you don't have to do one a day. You can go through and pick out the ones you like. But courses like this help you see the power of languages and give you ideas for apps to build to make you a better programmer. Now, if you don't want to use Python, there's another one called 100 Days of JavaScript that has great ratings and the projects look fun too. They look a little more beginner. I don't see anything super complicated here. So that's an option. And then finally, there's a Python data science, like 100 Days of Code Real World Data Science Projects Bootcamp. And there's lots of great stuff here. This stuff is over my head, actually. But I love Python and I may pick this one up. So anyway, that's number three. The third type is 100 Days of X courses. And by the way, links to all of these will be down below if you want to check them out. Now, number four on the list of Udemy courses all developers should own is Linux courses. All developers should own a Linux course. You can't escape Linux. And I'm not just talking about the command line. You may have a MacBook and you can use like the Unix terminal. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Linux system itself, the file system, user account management, networking, systemd, systemctl. These topics you got to know. Do you know these things? In my six years as a software engineer, these have been skills that eventually are required by everyone. Linux skills. When I started out, I was like, I got a Mac, my friends got Windows, we're all doing things on that, I don't need to know Linux. I didn't realize that like every web hosting platform is in Linux, all the clouds, you're gonna be in Linux. Like Linux rules the world and you're gonna have to know it. You're not gonna have to get certified, you're not gonna have to be an expert, but you got to know your way around the file system and how to do things in Linux, plus the command line. So every developer should have a solid Linux course in their toolkit. And the number one pick out there is a course called Linux Administration, the Complete Linux Bootcamp. Now, I was very careful about this pick. I looked, it has great reviews, it's a good teacher, and it touches on all the things I would want to know if I'm working in Linux. So we got the Linux terminal, which everybody wants to know. We got the Linux file system, user account management, file permissions, uh, software management, system administration, shell scripting, et cetera, et cetera, and a challenge for each section. So if you wanna be a thriving developer that's gonna advance your career, get to know Linux. Buy this course and work through it. You don't have to do it all at once, work through it and use it as a reference, get to know Linux. All right, fifth on the list for Udemy courses every developer should own is an algorithm or coding interview course. In your software engineering career, you'll be switching jobs every couple of years. That's what we do. It's the fastest way to level up your skills and your salary. But for each job, to get that job, you gotta work through some coding challenges. Now for some jobs, it's pretty easy. You just have to answer a few easy programming challenges. Other companies like Facebook or Google, you gotta know pretty complicated algorithms. So it's always good to have an algorithm coding challenges course that you can brief yourself on before you go looking for a new job. And my recommendation would be this. So there's a course by this Andre guy. He has so many courses. His website is like zero to mastery. He's just brilliant and he's an excellent teacher. Well, he has this course called Master the Coding Interview Data Structures Plus Algorithms. So here you're gonna go through all of these data structures. You got arrays, hash tables, linked lists, stacks and queues. So you got data structures, algorithms, and then some extra stuff. But this would be a good course to add to your toolkit if you're doing JavaScript in your interviews. I think he sticks to JavaScript this whole course. If you're trying to get a job and you need to know Python and do the Python algorithms, then there's another option called Data Structures and Algorithms Python by Scott Barrett. Now this course looks great, great ratings, good content, kind of the same as Andre's course, but in Python. So again, number five on the list, make sure you have an algorithm or coding challenges course. All right, so number six, you need an API design course. You will, in your career, work with APIs. And it's not gonna be just a crud, simple API. You're gonna need to know routes. You're gonna need to know authentication. You're gonna need to know all about status codes. APIs are really the backbone of software engineering in interacting with services and applications. One day, you'll get assigned with a task to work on an API, and you're gonna be expected to jump right in. That happened to me a couple of years ago. I was like, yeah, no APIs, so they put me on a project. And I got in there and these guys were brilliant. 
they had the whole thing designed and they all knew like best practices. I came in there thinking I knew things, which I did, I knew how to keep up, but I didn't know things on the level that they knew. And I struggled, but I had to come to Udemy and take a course like this. So my recommendation here is going to be Node.js, the complete RESTful API masterclass 2023. This course, you're gonna learn how to build Node.js RESTful APIs using Express in MongoDB. And you're gonna learn about requests and bodies and status codes and authentication and user routes and security issues and all the things you need to know. So that's a Node.js option. If you want a .NET option, so I was working in .NET, I love .NET, I love C Sharp, and a lot of APIs are built in that framework. So if that's your option, then check this course out. This is RESTful Web API, the complete guide.NET 7 API. Good reviews and good content. CRUD, dependency injection, DTO, all the things you need to know with .NET, uh, API security, caching, .NET identity. Check this course out if you're doing things in .NET. And that's number six. API design. Now the seventh course that every developer should own is a SQL course. Understanding database queries is another skill you can't pass up on. You may be a front-end developer, you're still gonna at some point have to make some queries to a database. You'll be required to have a surface level understanding of pulling data from a database. Now you might not even be writing the SQL yourself, but you'll need to understand how it works even if the programming language that you're using is doing it for you. So what I'm getting at here is you just need a base understanding of SQL and SQL queries. And the course for this is of course gonna be the Complete SQL Bootcamp by Jose Portilla. Now I chose this course because for one, he's an excellent teacher, he has a lot of courses too. And two, it's not that long, it's just nine hours. And it covers the basics. You got SQL statement fundamentals, you got group by statements, joins, advanced commands, creating databases and tables, conditional expressions, and so forth. It's just like the basic SQL that you need to know. This could be a course that you could do on a couple weekends, and at that point in your career where they say, hey, we need you to come do some SQL things for us, you'll at least know what they're talking about, plus you can reference this course. So that's SQL. Number seven, get a SQL course. Number eight is a clean code course. One thing you'll learn is that really good developers, those that you look up to, write really clean code. It's not only clean, but it's impressive. You write like 40 lines and then they come in, rewrite it in like 10. And it's always in a way you didn't think of. This is because many of them have learned these principles of clean code, like solid principles and proper variable naming. And they can talk things like singletons and abstractions. So I'm gonna recommend a course that you should work through over time, a little bit here, a little bit there, to make your coding cleaner. Learn these practices and you'll see great improvement. So the course for that, is called Clean Code by Maximilian Schwartzmuller, my favorite guy on Udemy. Lots of great courses also. Sometimes they're way too long. This one thankfully is six hours. His other courses are like 40 plus, but he's a good instructor. So this one, learn how to write readable, understandable, and maintainable code in an example-driven way, hey. So let's check it out. Naming, proper naming, code structure, comments and formatting, functions and methods control structures and errors, objects, classes, and data containers. Yeah, here's the solid principles. And the point of this course isn't to rip through it. The point is to take a little bit at a time, like on a weekend or in the mornings or something, just pick one or two things and apply it to your coding. And I think you'll benefit a lot. And then another option for the clean code is a course called Solid Principles, Introducing Software Architecture and Design. So if you really don't wanna work through all of this theory, and you just wanna at least get down the solid principles, this might be for you. It's just two hours of video, and it goes through the solid principles. Single responsibility, open close principle, Liskov substitution, S-O-L-I-D, and you're finished. So that could be an option as well. So that's number eight, a clean code course. Now ninth on the list for all developers, courses they should own, is a I want to be a senior developer course. A course that will help you progress from junior to a senior level. Becoming a senior developer is much more than just becoming a better programmer. In fact, that doesn't have a lot to do with it. That'll come anyway. But you need to learn professional skills, relational skills, you need to learn leadership, and you need to learn to make the right decisions when needed, even in high pressure situations. So I have two courses for you on Udemy that will help you develop these skills. First, there's a course called Software Development Mindsets for a successful career. And I took a look at this and I thought the topics were very relevant. So look at this, entry, 
navigate your beginnings, junior, maintain growth, focus on few and master them, avoid conflicts, concepts that actually do help you. And then you got senior, bypass ego, don't get attached to your title, conceptual thinking and design decisions. And then moving forward, becoming a lead and hire, getting advanced degrees, going solo and things like that. So I think this course looks to be very helpful to not only take you from junior to senior, but to help you understand your role in each level. So that's one option. Another option that I thought was good is this one, how to become a senior developer beyond coding skills. So this one's only two hours. And I looked first and I was like, what is all this Excel, learn, take the next step. Like there's uh, techniques one, techniques two, there's like solve, implement, test. And I was like, eh, it looks kind of shallow. But the reviews are great. Exceeded my expectations so far. Great guidance on how to become a senior software engineer. The course is a good place to start. It had good reviews. So this could be another option that would help you on that journey. So that was number nine, the I want to become a senior developer course. And finally, number 10, aimed to choose self-taught developers, is a I didn't get a computer science degree course. Now, many of us are self-taught and we lack the underlying skills that those with a computer science degree possess. Now, this isn't a problem in the big picture because many of those skills aren't really needed to get the job done. We can get the job done. We just don't understand what's going on under the hood. But knowing these computer science principles not only help you with the underlying concepts, but it will help you adapt to different challenges faster because you have a deeper understanding of the science of programming. And to fill this gap, I recommend anything by CompTIA. Now CompTIA is a company that offers a number of certifications that are really, really popular. And they have Udemy courses to back them up. Let me show you three that I think will help you out. And again, these are not courses that you just wanna go and rip through and get the certification. These are courses that you might wanna go through on weekends and work through slowly and, and bridge those gaps that you have as a self-taught developer. So here's a couple of courses. First up, and they're all by this guy, Jason Dion. Now I like this guy a lot because when I got my CompTIA Security Plus, I used this guy and I thought he was an excellent teacher. And he kind of, him and this one other guy ruled the space on Udemy, they're the experts in the CompTIA stuff. So I recommend you go with him. But first, there's a certification called the A+. And the A+, teaches you like, what is a computer? What are all the parts? You'll see right here, install, configure, and maintain computer equipment, understand networking basics, uh, properly and safely diagnose and document hardware and software issues. So it's like basic computer. Like, what is your computer doing? What are all the parts of your computer? How does the networking work? Things like that. And it's actually a two-part certification. There's the core one and then the core two, you gotta pass both. But these courses, if you're struggling to understand the concepts of a computer and you wanna fill that gap, then I think this is a good course. So this is core one. And if you see here, like motherboards, cooling and power, system memory, storage devices, cloud computing, networking basics, all of that stuff, that's core one. And then core two is gonna focus on like Windows, so Windows versions, Windows installations, networking, settings, tools, command line tools, lots of Windows stuff. We got Mac OS. We learned about wireless security, mobile device security, and things like that. So this is like your basic computer certification. That's called the A+. So that's an option. There's another certification called the Network Plus. If you're struggling with networking concepts, then maybe get this course. The certification I think is a little tricky from what I've heard, but work through the course and your networking skills will improve. So if you look at this one, you got the TCP IP model, IP addressing, network services, WANs and LANs and things like that. That's network plus. And then finally, if you're thinking about cybersecurity or the security of software and hardware and things like that, check out the security plus. So this is one that I passed. I learned so much from like system design to like Linux commands and IPs and all this crazy stuff. But if you look here, you got security, mobile device security, hardening, supply chain, virtualization, secure software development, something to add again to your toolkit. And that's number 10 on the list, the I didn't get a computer science degree course. And with that one out of the way, that ends our list. That's your 10 Udemy courses that you should own. All developers should own them, one from each category. Now let me ask you, what did I miss? What courses did I miss? What's your favorite course? Which one do you think all developers should pick up and take? Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a discussion. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like 
content like this. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.